This is lesson number 32 in the Paint with Lens series of short lessons. So this will be a painting of a few boats and quite a popular scene is the very soft pinky colours and boats. Very peaceful. I'll start with three colours on my palette. That's warm red, that's fire engine red, you might call it cadmium red in oils. That's ultramarine blue and plenty of white. If you're working in oils, use titanium white. We start by picking out quite a lot of white on my two inch house painting brush. And we cover the whole board with white. Let's bring it all down here, all with the white. There's plenty of white in there. You can put it on with a knife if you wish. It's quite easy to put it on with a knife and then brush it away. But then we'll finish our brush strokes in a horizontal line because if they come out, you can see the brush strokes in the water. At least it'll look flat. There. Now with a little bit of ultramarine blue there, and of course we want it there and there too. We just bring, bring it in through a tip, not too much, not too much, and there. And then the red. Let's start it there we'll do it here we need to blend this in okay stop you'll have to clean your brush regularly that brush is saturated with paint don't clean it in water just clean it like that and then i'll start working from the middle because i want it to stay pale that way turn it over and let's do it that way if we start down here the brush gets too dirty so we start in the middle and crisscross crisscross blend their paint across to this piece of masking tape and across the other side and that's given us a rather nice pink glow in the middle there I'm going to add some white right across the middle and just give it like that because I do want it white in the middle if possible and then bring it up here and when I come up here and start touching this red then it'll start spreading out that's why I don't want to put my brush back there again so just keep an eye on what tone is on the brush and don't come back here now because you'll have too much red there. So keep your red tones away from the middle and I won't put any blue in there yet because I want to touch up this bottom first. Crisscross, crisscross. I've got a line there, I don't like that. Okay, down here. Now I'm working in acrylics and it dries. It is annoying sometimes. Squirt, squirt, squirt. See it all run down? It'll destroy this down here. So don't squirt whenever you have a bit of painting finished. It's all right if it's not finished, you can squirt. If you see those lines, they won't go away. They'll stay there. So I'll have to paint over that. But it does make it easy to blend. I'll blend down there quickly before those lines dry. And then clean my brush again. And, ooh, I don't want to put it in the middle, I know. I should. That's easy fixed. I get a clean brush and I use a clean brush in the middle. Good trick. There. Okay. And then back to the big brush. We'll try and blend out where you see it joining. That's a bit red there. We'll get rid of that bit. Okay. Now for some blue. I do want to have some blue in the corner. I just don't want it all red. Let's have a blue there. Get a blue down here. Blue, blue there. And then a little bit of red in the blue, that's a bit too much. There. That gives a purple colour. We'll see if we can blend that in now. Bring it in. Ooh, not too bad. Across the top. No, don't go across like this too much. That'll do in here. Now I want this wet. I like to have wet paint here. I'm going to have to go over it. I think the people where the oils work in oils would be a lot easier because it would be wet at the moment it's dry out a bit so let's wetten it let's make it wet and brush do it quickly there and then my blue which I missed a bit more blue there and now back to the point now Ooh, I didn't want that. We're going to have to paint something there to represent that. Let's 
that's all right, you can do that. Clean the brush. Clean the brush. Clean the brush. Clean the brush. Now I've lost my whites. See if I can get it back in there. There's the white. I'll use a clean brush again. Well, that's not a flat brush, but it should do it. Now keep your brush strokes straight down. When you're doing reflections, I need to mix some colour now. Let's put these two colours together. They'll probably go brown. Mm. And we've gone dark. Warm red often goes brown. We're cringing those purple there. We've got a choice of colours. Let's start with that one. Mm, I think it's too dark. Yes, let's go lighter. I'll lighten it. Okay. This is a city. Any shape you like. And some short buildings. Mm. Now because I've got light and dark on the brush it looks like you can see the side of the building which is pretty good. So that's a bit of a reflection of the building too. Mm. The side of that one. You don't have to see them clearly. Pick up some more paint. straight down. Now I know this one's a bit blue. Oh no, he went red. He's red. And he's a bit darker than the others. So let's go back to light. We won't we won't have that too dark. We can have a couple of dark ones. A few light ones here and towards the edge drift off onto almost nothing but they don't go down. Then we need a nice clean flat brush which I haven't got so I'm going to use this one. It's a flat brush but it's not the big one that I like to use. Turn it over because the other side's clean. Clean the brush. Bring them down into reflections. There. Move it on. And do the other side the same. No need for detail. And with our painting knife just take a bit of colour on the side there and put a couple of big things like they have in cities. That's a bit dark, that one. I'll go back for another lighter colour. That's too dark. There. Put it in the water too. Ooh, big storm coming. Just a few things like that. I don't know what they are. Have some more colour and we'll do what would be the water line there. Move it along. We'll finish your water on here. Ooh, that didn't meet up, did it? Doesn't matter. So that's our water line. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of, not so dark, but a bit of dark on there. And put something in the water to correspond with that mark there. I didn't intend that to be there. It just happens so Well, we'll put something on the, in the skyline, I mean, not in the water. There, there's something in the water. We need something up there to correspond with it. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look very good. I'll put a little bit of white on it too. So, uh, and this one here too, I'm not real happy with it. It's just too big. That could be a big thing in, a, in Sydney, couldn't it? Mm. No, I don't like it. I'll block it out. I don't know what it is. If I put a line on there, I might get better. So that's our city. If you want to detail it further, which I don't advise, but you can scratch the little rings in some of the buildings to give it that effect. But I'm not going to do that because I want to detail the boats. And before we paint in our boats, let's get some of this white paint, cleaning the knife, and pick up an edge of the knife. And no, that's no good having a big blob on the end. Could cause me trouble. Let's just get it nice. That's it. A little bit of paint on the edge of the knife. And that's pure white, so if I put it on horizontal, it should give me a pure white line here and there. Not much, just a bit. Load the knife. 
if you see something you don't particularly like, you want to line over it. It sort of hides it a bit. Not too many of these either. Load the knife again. Oh, well, that's a very white line, so not too much of that. And we'll come down to you with our white lines. And a few down here, and possibly a bit bigger one there. Now, that white line's running uphill. I don't like it. Let's try and put another one near it. Now for the boats, we've got to brush it a little bit smaller. We don't need the dark colours yet. We'll use the light colours, very pale colours. We're going to a little bit of a blue for the boat. Very pale colours. I don't know why we've got so much red there. We're not going to use that. That's a purpley colour. Load your knife with a purpley colour on the side. And what we want to paint first is the mast for the boat. Let's do one here. There's not much happening here. Let's do a mast there. That's the mast. And that's the reflection of the mast. We'll your reflection down with a soft clean brush before it dries. Then you can paint your boat in. Let the boat be there. And the reflection of the boat there. Because that boat's close to us, let's make it a bit darker. See? That brings it forward with some dark. Now put rather dark on there because I've just seen what I can do with this big mark here. That can be boat number two, can't it? Right there. Now it's closer to us but it's just slightly lower than that boat. It's a lot bigger. A bit more darker colour collection. There. might have a mast or something up there, I don't know what it's got. I didn't intend that, it just happened. Clean the brush, pick up some darks, and then I'll, I'll block that in a little bit better. Now we can detail these boats later, and I'll fuzzy that out a little bit with a down brush stroke. I wish I had a soft clean brush, but I haven't got one at the moment. Well, boat number three, let's make it red. And one, two there. Well, we just have one here, here. Not much happening there. Now, hmm, he's a bit big, isn't he? Okay, we'll load your knife again. There. Give him a mask there. And my mask is always coming out with things on him. That's all right. A different brush this time. Try and get that reflection soft in the brush. Now, that boat's blue and that one's red. They're two different colours, which isn't a good idea in the one painting like that. We'll put a bit more blue on that one, a bit more red on that one, and that's evened up a little bit. Let's say in the distance there'll be lots of little boats. They have to be little. They can't be red. They can't be too dark. So I'll put them there, and then I'll lighten them down. I'll find some light paint. And let's put one right back there. A couple back here. The masts are not very high. One or two over here, one there, and one there. Then you lay your painting knife with a rather pale tone and put the masts on for that boat. Ooh, that was white. I didn't want white. This should be better. There. Mast there, and mm, there's the other boat, one there, one there, one there, one there, a very little one there. Okay, now with the white on your knife, pretty bright white, well let's go pink, yeah, why not? Yeah. We'll go pink on your knife, on your knife, and pick up a little bit of pink. You can put some lights on your boat. Just a little bit of detail, not much, on the boats. Let's put a bit here. Mm, reflection of that. There we are. We'll get away with that. Okay, that's as good as my boats are going to get. So we'll pick up some white, pure white. Oops. On the edge of the knife. That's too much. Get rid of it. 
and then you can put a little line under the boat. Ripples in the water, uh, which completely cover these reflections. You see that? That one should go right across. Don't stop it on the reflection. And down here we're going to have something like this. I'll load the knife again, and I want that reflection again. There, that one went red. Okay. Might be a reflection of the boat in the water rippling. And here I'd like one right across there. And across here. They go across those reflections. If you want to put wires on your boat, pick up some darker colour on the edge of your knife, just a very little bit, and touch your wires on like that. Now you don't have to see every wire. Sometimes you can see half of them and they disappear from view. That one's got too many wires and I put two too close together. It looks like one big wire. This one's got a little wire, a little wire, and this one a little wire. On one of the boats, I want to put a man. So let's put him in his head and his body. That's the man. And my best little 50 cent brush. I'll load some darks on one side. And we'll have bright red seagulls, red and white. Okay. Now, you can test it down here. That's too much, that's too thick. There's a thin line. I didn't want to get a white on it. So I see I can draw a thin line with this. I'll tie it up here where it might be a big seagull. There's one. Okay. Now the brush is not working real well. If you've got a really fine brush, you can do this. Take a lot of trouble and do it properly. I've been able to do it. And I reckon there'd be a few seagulls somewhere here in the distance. But they'd be very little. There. One there. All it needs is a flag, there, that'll do. We'll take the masking tape off. Now that's warm red and ultramarine blue. You can possibly do it in other colours. And if you wish, you can detail your boats a little bit more.